Good evening. Soon before Christmas of 1995, I was spending another some of another forced to be homeless because of a loudly obvious oppression most noticeable to others in traffic den, day on a curb of the Lanning Shopping Center here in Sarasota. A woman passing by on her bike paused to briefly, briefly greet me and she gave me a present, a portable radio similar to a Sony Walkman. On an early night soon after, I was laying on the lawn of a closed former restaurant of the same center searching the radio dial for something nice to listen to when I heard what I still think is a very special song for the very first time. Children happily singing, Happy Birthday, Jesus. Loving and caring children of 20th century USA singing for a man who'd lived 2,000 years before. A man from a land and a language much, much different than our own, singing affectionately, adoring. I decided that if Jesus was somehow being able to hear them, or if he could, he'd have naturally been emotionally thankful and receptive, and wanting all to continue to be happy and safe, for them all to have futures abundant and secure, many happy birthdays of their own yet to come. On another day back then, I under unexpectedly learned of a different opinion, though, of dangers and of prophecies of doom. There had been a summer day earlier in the same year when I had accepted some brochures and pamphlets from a young Catholic man on a bike as I rested on a picnic table of Siesta Public Beach. I was polite but didn't read anything at the time. I made sure to be gracious mostly because of the pretty young woman who was uh, quietly accompanying him. I kept the material with my belongings through the rest of the year without reading until a day soon before Christmas, when I read a brochure titled, The Pope on the Secret Letter of Fatima. Worries and disillusionment occurred immediately. According to the content, Pope John Paul II had been quoted by a German newspaper as in about 1980 as saying to a gathering of pilgrims that terrible disaster was imminent that most certainly before the end of the century entire continents were going to be inundated and that millions of people were going to die from one moment to the next and that there were going to be other tragedies including world war worse than had ever happened before and that would involve all nations of the world and they emphasized an opinion that Christians should be content about the prophecies and not wondering about further details and that to prevent was no longer possible. Content that millions of people would be dying from one moment to the next? I decided the Christians would rather that all be saved instead, remembering the promise of God with his resplendent rainbow in Genesis, and mindful of the title Savior known to Jesus, known for Jesus but I didn't have any knowledge of how the predicted disasters might happen or instead be prevented, and I had to soon set the matter aside. But with God, a belief that the predictions must somehow be prevented. I spent most every day and night through the rest of the years of the century, the end of the millennium, alone and homeless. There was a lot of caring by others in passing day to day, though, and I still hope that all remain safe and happy. Now we're almost to the end of another day more than a decade and a half into the next century and into the beginning of the third millennium since the advent of Jesus. What had happened pertaining to the Pope's prophecies of doom? There must have been some preventions, some quiet and unexpected interventions. In this series of video reports, I've again described some events that I had personally witnessed that to me looked like were preventions. I hope that knowledge of saving events will help to perpetuate the saving and that as we progress to another Christmas through this year, we'd be thankful for the many happy birthdays that still occur each day and night and remember the children's happy birthday Jesus reminder, a man who must have been and in many ways continues to be of a lasting significance for saving, for ourselves and our good understandings, and for the enhancement of the good of others whom various, variously differ from us, to better strive for a lasting world peace, 
for the good of every nation, for indefinite perpetuation, for the many as yet unknown happy birthdays to come, even to perhaps a mystery of as yet unknown new worlds. I don't know about you, but a dove that flew into the open garden here as I typed was an unexpected and welcome musical wing surprise earlier tonight, and is keeping me company still. <clears throat> And there was a lot of encouraging looking uh, nodding. Please pray for peace and have a good night.